Welcome back to TMS. More than ever, we post photos of ourselves all over the place. From social networking sites to business portraits and even dating profiles. We all want to look fabulous in them, but if you don't know how to shoot a great picture, then chances are you'll have disappointing results. Here to show us how to get pro-style photographs at home is photography expert Erin Manning. Thanks for coming in, Erin. Thanks for having me. Good to be here. Great. We're happy to have you here. How important is a good self-portrait these days? Oh, it's essential. You know, we all want to present ourselves in the best light possible, right? Mm -hmm. But so many people have headshots out there right now. Maybe it's for social networking or dating site or even business that could probably be updated. So why not put your best face forward? Not, not even just updated just a nice photo yes right? looking good my girlfriend was on a, a dating website recently and she forwarded a picture of a guy that was her potential match to all of my other girlfriends and he looked quite scary <laughs> so we need to t start taking some nice pictures of he ourselves could use some tips probably yes a lot of tips if you're out there guy watch um so how critical is lighting i can imagine it's really important it's super important you know you could have the best camera in the world but if mm -hmm. you don't have the right light your pictures aren't going to turn out and what i mean by the right light is really the quality and the direction of the light so okay. you want to pay attention to where's the light coming from from the top okay. from the front or from the side now top light is just like standing outside at noon right you've got under eye shadows just doesn't Ooh, look good we mm -hmm. don't want that front light is really flattering it actually gets rid of lines and marks and things on your face it's considered beauty lighting nice hide all those wrinkles yes okay. <laughs> and then side light does create more dimension and form across someone's face so just think about that as you're kind of pos positioning someone in the light to get the best picture wow so you can get a little creative basically with the yeah. light yeah and a natural light it's really beautiful too, especially early in the morning and late in the afternoon because it's nice, soft side light, makes people look really beautiful, but you can't rely on it. Mm, and then that little. You can lose it. You can. They're always saying, we're losing the light, we're losing the or light. Or it's raining, right. you know. Oh, yes, boo. It's so like the magic hour or, or yeah, the golden, the golden hour. hour. Right, makes people look beautiful. Yeah, that lighting's really pretty. Now, the yeah. on camera flash on your camera usually yeah. just isn't very pretty. So, yeah. you know, the best way to get a good portrait is consistent, flattering light. Okay, consistent, flattering light. Great. So, now what do we have here? I see this home studio light. Lighting kit that yes. you brought? This is my home studio lighting kit. Mm -hmm. You know, I discovered that a lot of people want to take professional looking photographs, but they're either intimidated, intimidated by the technology yeah. or the price, or maybe it's just too expensive for them. So that's why I teamed up with FJ Westcott to put together this simple, easy to use lighting kit. It's daylight balanced light, so it's like window light in a box. Okay. And it makes you look really good. Ooh, we like yes. that. We want to look really good. <laughs> so are we going to take some pictures of me, like, and have maybe a before and after without lighting? And then yeah, let's it. do that. Let's All do right. that. I've got my camera right here. Getting so my, my mug ready. Yes, so let's take okay. um, the before shot. Before shot. All right. Looking great. And okay. an after. Now, the after shot. Let's turn on the light. <laughs> Ta da. Okay. Ready? And we'll take the after shot. That's great. Oh, yeah, I like it. You've got good attitude there. Uh-huh. <laughs> really tiger, good. Tiger, tiger. You're a yeah. tiger. You're a lemur. So okay, so let's take a look. Like. Oh, my goodness. Wow. <laughs> wow. Here we go. Look. I mean, it's so dark, the original. And then the lighting yeah. really... Yeah, so the before and after really makes a difference, doesn't it? Makes it makes a huge difference. There's sort of like a little sparkle in my eye in that picture, even. Exactly. You're I love better. that. Well, thanks for making me look fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any other tips, Erin, that uh, maybe people at home should remember for taking good portraits aside yes. from that stuff? Yeah, there are. The one you mentioned, actually, the light in your eye. Mm. Look for a catch light in your subject's eye. So it's a little twinkle. It makes them look alive. Okay. And then also, if you're going to take a picture of someone, you don't want to fill the frame up close. Mm. You want to move back and give yourself room to zoom. So zoom in with your telephoto. Okay. It's a much more plat flattering perspective. Yeah, I can imagine something this close. It's yeah. just not pretty, It makes pretty, people's right? noses look big. just not good. Yeah, she looked much prettier in the, in the other photo. Oh, yeah, She's definitely. Woman, but Way the second more one is really flattering. And then another thing you might want to do to make your pictures look more interesting is consider using a compositional rule called the rule of thirds. Okay. And as opposed to putting someone plunk right in the middle, you move them off to the side a little bit. Ah. Visually create a tic-tac-toe board on your scene and put something of interest at one or more of those intersections. It'll be a much more compelling photograph. Wow, yeah. It's, it's a little more interesting, more fun. You can get playful with that basically right yeah, sort of put exactly. people everyone thinks you have to have somebody right in the center of the picture you don't have to be right in the middle not at all yeah we can have a little bit of fun any tricks for getting red eye out of photos i'm always i always have red eye in yes my use photos. these lights and you'll get rid use of all the lights. red eye all right, there we go <laughs> easy enough aaron thank you so much for for all this fantastic information aaron we really appreciate it to learn more about self-portraits and photography in general check out aaronmanning.com now over to mark who photographs better than Derek Zoolander? Do Blue Steel, Mark, do it. 